Hey everyone, today we're going to be replacing the cabin air filter for a 2007 Mazda 3. So the first thing I would do is I would go ahead and remove the negative uh, battery terminal from the battery here and then we'll just kind of hide it away here so it's it's not, uh, not going to run into anything there. So we'll just slide it down to the side there and that will allow us to, to get in and mess with the fuse box. Alright, so the next thing we need to do, we need to take off this uh, kick guard here. You'll see there's a little plastic rivet in there. Um, all we need to do is take a flathead screwdriver and then we're just going to go ahead and pop it out. Alright, so using my flathead I got the plastic rivet out. Um, we'll just put that out of the way for now and then we're going to go ahead and remove this side kick guard. Pull that down, get that out of the way. So the next, the next thing we're going to do here is we also need to remove this other uh, kicker panel here and you can see the, the, the where we're going to remove the cabin air filters off there to the left but to get this kicker box out of the way or this kicker panel out of the way um, there's a couple tabs there's one right up in here so you just put that push that in and then there's one on this other side here that's just right here you push those in at the same time and it should just pop right off so I'll go ahead and do that put the camera down for just a second and let's get that done See, and it just slides so it just slides out right like that okay so the next thing we're going to do we see these uh, tab screws here there's one right to the right one to the left um, we're not going to need any tools we just go ahead and turn those counterclockwise and they should just pop right out there um, and that will loosen this white piece here and what we're going to want to do there's some there's some um, attachments in the back that we're going to have to lift this up a second to get this guy loose. I might actually need to do this with two hands here. Hold on. Alright, so I'm working on this here just to kind of show you guys. I really had to lean this down to get it out. Um, you'll see there these, there's these grooves over on the side. I had to really lean it that, like that and lift it up and out so it would come out. Um, now it's, I, it's, it's out, I just need to get it uh, unattached. You'll see they've got these little tabs here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a picture of your fuse box here to make sure you put everything correctly back in position um, when we reassemble. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then kind of proceed forward. All right, now that I've taken some pictures, um, what we're going to want to do is remove these here. So uh, what we what we want to do is you'll see there's these two little tabs on either side. You want to squeeze those and then lift up. And then you want to lift it up into its upright position. And once you do that, it should disengage or it should pop out. I'm going to go ahead and do that with two hands here, and then we'll continue on. So with these tabs here on the back, you're going to want to push down on the top uh, here, put some pressure on it, and slide them both down, and then they should pop out. You just got to make sure you slide them all the way, and they should just come right out. All right. So now we've got all these tabs, uh, all these connectors removed. Um, you'll see, so to get them off, you, you want to lift up, you, again, you squeeze these two tabs here on the top and you lift them all the way up, and then they should pop out for you. So now that we've got the, the fuse panel off, um, next thing we need to do is take off this metal bar here. So what I'm going to recommend and what I'm going to do is uh, get a socket wrench and uh, get it on there, loosen it up, we'll take that off and then we should be getting pretty close. Okay, so now we're going to take that bar off in the back. I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, I've got a 12 millimeter socket here. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up those two bolts there, and then we should be good to go and have access to the cabin air filter. Okay, so using the socket wrench, I got both these uh, bolts loose, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and remove this, uh, this bracket here, whatever this is. So Now that that's done, what we're going to do, there's a little sensor in here we're going to need to go ahead and remove. Um, you can see it's right there, so just squeeze that tab and... Pull it out. Just 
comes right out. And then we have uh, four screws. Okay, so there's the two on the top right there. And then behind this bar here, there's a couple of other ones. So we'll just get rid of those and then we should be good to go. Got those screws out there. We go ahead and uh, try and get the, the, air, the cabin air filter out. So I got those bolts out. Oops, this guy's still in the way. And uh, then this, this face here just pops right off. So I'm gonna move that, pull that out of the way. You'll see it'll just dangle there. And I... So what we do, first thing, is we're gonna go ahead and pull the filter out. It's, there's one on the bottom and then there's one on the top. So this one we're gonna have to pull out here. Kinda navigate it out of here. Look at that, it's pretty bad shape there, so hopefully um, so we get this new one in, it's going to help out quite a bit. And uh, let's see if we can't get this other one out here. Let's clean as much of the gunk out of here as we can. A lot of big full leaves in here and stuff. So next thing we're going to want to do is the other, the other one was up top. You're just going to pull on it and it will drop down. And then you go ahead and pull that guy out. And you'll notice that as we put it back in, it has this the soft top there. Um, that's going to slide in first, and then we'll slide that up. And so here's the the front of that one, and you can see this one's got a bunch of gunk in it too. So pretty bad shape. All right. So com so for comparison's sake, we can see uh, they're uh, in pretty bad shape. So you can see how dirty they are. So we're going to go ahead and throw these new guys in. But before we do that, we're going to want to go ahead and keep cleaning as much gunk out of here as we can. So just go in with your hand or whatever else you've got handy and try and brush that out and make sure you get everything out of there so there's nothing that's in there uh, from before. So again, we just bought this uh, TYC air filter, uh, cabin air filter on uh, online and it's uh, verified that it fits in our car here. So, okay, so to reinstall um, these filters, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna put this piece in first, the top piece. You'll notice it's top because it's got this foam along the top. And we're gonna use this edge here, this edge tab here. It's gonna slide in like this. Um, so this side's gonna go in first and then this side will be in the back. And once we put the top piece in first, we're gonna slide it up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and slide the bottom piece underneath You'll notice there's uh, a, a groove there that we just put this top edge in and there's this, we just slide it in like so, like so and uh, we should be good to go. You'll notice again there's this tab on this side that we're going to use to slide it in and there's this fat uh, side here on the bottom that goes on the bottom on the second piece. So I'll go ahead and try and do that right now. Slide this in over here. Uh, got that guy in. Kind of got to get a feel for it. I just went ahead and uh, slid it up. It seems to go in pretty well. Oh, it keeps falling down. And it kept dropping down, so I had to use one hand to hold it up and use the other hand to slide it in. Um, but looks like I got it secure okay, so now. I'm just going to reassemble everything backwards from how I started and we should be good to go.